So let's get back to our model and the texture we want to apply, okay? So here I imagine that it's some kind of uh, concrete, dark concrete that contrasts with the might white mass here. So I'll go to Google and I type concrete texture. Go into images. And here I already have plenty of concrete textures that I might use. So you see this and you might think, wow, my model's going to look so amazing with all these realistic textures. However, you really have to pay attention to a couple of things. Otherwise, it won't look good. So the first thing is that you'll notice here that you have the, uh, the size of the image. And for this one, which is 640 by 640, it is a pretty small image pretty low definition image and it's okay if it's like something very far away like this wall here maybe however I recommend to find a better quality images so that the first thing you you may want to do is click on tools here and change the size instead of putting it at any size you put it large so it starts I think at 900 pixels which is not that large, but it's better than uh, the low, high, uh, the low definition images. So okay, let's see what uh, we can do now. So imagine you want to use this texture. You just have to download it. Okay, I'll put it on my desktop. And now all we have to do is go to File, Import, and select our image. Now, there are two things to pay attention to in this little window. The first thing is that you have to make sure that the right format is selected. Otherwise, the image won't appear. So you click on the right file format, select it, and then you see here that you can use image as image, texture, or new matched photo. For this course, we're going to just talk about the first two here, image and texture. So what happens and what's the difference between image and texture? If I import it as an image, okay, I just select the first point, then the second point, and what it is is exactly what it says. It is an image. So if I hit B for my paint bucket and select the sample tool, you'll see that there's a tiny sign red sign that says I cannot do it, cannot pick it up as a material because it's not a texture. So the way around this is to right click on it and explode. Once it explodes the image actually transforms it into a surface with a texture on it. So now if I take my paint bucket and sample it, you see here the texture appears. And now I can use it as a uh, material in my model. So I'm going to just delete this and apply it right here. Okay. Now, you notice what happens when you use just any texture. What SketchUp does is that it takes your image and it tiles it all over the surface until it covers the whole surface. So you clearly see here the edges of the image, which you don't want, obviously, in your model. So this is the most important part to pay attention to, actually, is to find textures that are seamlessly tileable. So if we get back to our search here, you'll see that there are all kinds of um, textures and you really have to imagine that this texture is going to be tiled uh, one beside the other. So one way to deal with it is either you just judge with your eye just by seeing your search results or you can add seamless concrete texture. You add the word seamless in the uh, search box and you'll find probably more good results and more tileable results without seeing the edges. So uh, let's just pick one here and apply it inside of our model. Okay. If 
I take this one here, I download it, get back to my model, click File, Import, Smooth Concrete. Okay, and now this one, I'm going to import it as a texture, not as an image. And you will see the difference between the two. However, if I import it as a texture, I have to make sure I'm inside the group where I'm going to apply it. So I've imported just here, you'll see the sign here on my mouse that I cannot apply it. So I have to get inside of my group and then so that I can select the surfaces, you know, of my geometry. I go to File, Import. Now I select this one as a texture, Import, and boom. It directly applies the texture on my surface. Okay. And as you can see, it's totally seamless. We don't see the edges of the image, which is great.